In this video, we're going to talk about shoulder internal rotation. So we're looking at trying to work on the strength of our front part of our anterior aspects of our rotator cuff. Uh, in our previous videos, we've done that through holding the band out to the side and then rotating it in towards our stomach. In this video, however, we're going to be actually bringing the arm out to the side. So we're actually resting the arm in what we call abduction. This arm is fully supported, so we're using here a plinth, but at home you can use it alternatively a table, um, the kitchen work surface, or if it's not still not high enough, pop it up with books, or just adjust the height of your chair appropriately. Um, but if you're not sure, have a chat with the therapist is the best way to set it up for you. With this, we're gonna have a band attached behind us. So that's, that's the other awkward bit, is trying to set up where we can do it. Here I've tied it to a door handle, and I've made sure it's secure, so I've tied it, double knot, and made sure the door is shut as well, so it's not gonna swing open, okay? So what we're then gonna do, we're gonna bring the band to the side, holding it in our hand, Elbows at 90 degrees with the elbows resting on that work surface. So we're not holding the arm up in the air. We're resting on the work surface. The tension is now behind us. So all we're gonna do from here is then sitting up nice and tall, gonna to rotate forwards and then control the band backwards. Again, rotating forwards and slowly backwards like so. It's really important again that we make sure we're keeping that nice 90 degree angle at the elbow, so we're not bending our arm too much or too little, as that will change the tension on the rotation cuff at the shoulder. Have a chat with your therapist about the number of repetitions and sets that they'd like you to do for this exercise.